overflow or bust overflow or bust your life you should have an overflow mentality in every area that you look at your life with thank God for it now but expect the overflow that means blessings are not created equal it's one thing to be blessed with exactly what you need but it's another thing to get overflow and I'm trying to help you understand that God holds the key to the overflow blessing that that God is the only one that could pull out what's in his pocket and turn it in a lock and open it up for you where you don't just survive but you get the Bible says that Peter went out to, 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 to do business, went out to, to make money, that he took a net, <laughs> threw it out, weighed it, snatched it back, nothing in it, did it again, <laughs> threw it out, weighed it, snatched it back, <sighs> nothing was in it, <laughs> he's using his gift, snatch it back, and he's coming up empty handed, He's using the gift God gave him, snatching it back and, and, and coming back empty handed. That, that while Jesus went on to actually use his boat, that at that time Simon was off the boat washing his nets. Washing his nets. That's, that's symbolic and profound because why would you wash your nets? It's here Peter is washing off the place where he came back empty handed. And, and I'm trying to help some of y'all understand that you guys throw and come back empty handed but you keep it. You throw something out and come back empty handed and it breaks your heart and you hold on to it. Throw out different things and come back empty handed but you don't wash your nets. And while Peter was washing off Jesus spoke. Too many of you are trying to hear God with full nets. Jesus didn't just say go back out because it's a couple of fish. Jesus said go back out for the drought. And he got to the area and <laughs> but this time he pulled back and didn't budge. He pulled back and as he pulled back, the Bible says that his nets begin to break. See, 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 Jesus is resetting how he has to analyze what a good net is now going forward. See, the net that he had was good enough for him before. But see, now he got to rethink his net. A fisherman, a man who fished for a living, a man who knows the types of nets, but now he got to rethink it because God has now elevated him to a level where the nets that was good before are not the same nets that's going to be good now. That the nets that I use to survive are not the nets that I need for overflow. Say overflow. Good evening, family. Good evening, family. Good Yay. evening, family. Uh, welcome back to your weekly recap show on the YouTubes in the worldwide internet web. Yeah. I'm Jaden, and uh, I have some great people with me. Deja, Shayla, and Melissa. Uh, and we're going to talk about what happened on Sunday. Uh, Sunday morning. Lots of things. I don't know how to describe it. Uh, I think Pastor woke up and said, God, I'm choosing violence today. I'm going to get into everyone's business. He does. Um, I'm not, because pa Pastor gets into our business. He, he does that one. Yeah. But on Sunday, it's, he said, I'm going to get in your business and then I'm going to just make you feel a little bad because I know your business. Oh. Uh, I, I walked out of the sanctuary Ooh. like, Pastor, I, can we just have a moment? Because I have an issue. You didn't have to do that. <laughs> On a public setting, you could have just sent me a nice email, yeah. voice Agreed. memo. Pull him, pull him to the side or something. It was, it just, it was a lot for me to handle. Um, but I guess God wanted me to have that. Uh, so thanks, God. Good mail. Good mail. Um, Thank you, Lord. Pastor came, and, and it was, I'm sorry. I'm going to keep going. Uh, <laughs> he came from a familiar scripture uh, when Peter was in the water. He was doing what Peter does. He was trying fishing. to fish. Oh, he was fishing. Uh, and it wasn't until God got into the mix, like everything, uh, that Peter got everything that he needed from it. Mm -hmm. um, and I, I, I'm still full, and we're what three days later yeah. um, because there was like there was so much that Pastor was going through. 
um, that made me think, wow, I didn't know that I needed that. Um, it was, he was hitting on points that I just, I've thought about. Um, he was hitting on points that I was like, I don't even know how we got there, but I'm glad we're here. Um, and it was, it was just all in my business. So if you want an in your business message and you did not see it, uh, yeah. go back and watch um, Overflow or Bust because I'm still overflowing. Ooh, um, but let's talk about it. How did you all, what, what did you hear that you said, Pastor, please stop because I can't take it anymore. Or you were just like, yep, that's it. That's the ticket. Mm -hmm. Dej, Shayla, all Melissa. All of it. Yeah. All, well, it was all of it. All, all, of, it. It. all of it. All you of heard it here first. All of it. All of it. Every single part. Um, and yeah. I, I think one thing that got me was surviving isn't enough. Mm -hmm. You know, through life, sometimes we just mm -hmm. want to get by day mm -hmm. to day. You've overcome so much and you're thanking God for being able to overcome. Yeah. Yeah. But there's more to it. Yeah. Mm -hmm. It's something after a day-to-day -day survival. And so that that in itself just took me out because, yeah, some days it's rougher than others. Yeah. To be able to overcome is a blessing, but it's something better after that. Yeah. I, I just love the what next from God, the mm -hmm. overflow, and you being able to put yourself in position to receive it. It takes a lot of you. Not the same old, same old. Mm -hmm. You got to do something different. Change your mindset to be able to receive it. Yeah. You're going to live. You'll live through it. But he wants you to have more. Mm -hmm. yeah. That wash your neck piece? Yeah, that's it. Mm -hmm. Yeah. That's really nasty. Nasty. Don't bring it back up, please. Yeah. Yeah. Oh, sorry. And that was, that's actually not even my point. Yeah. But wash your neck? Yeah. Yeah. And it was, it was, ah, ah. Yeah. Because, uh, I'm sorry, keep just going. No, it was, it was, it's good. Good. It was, it was just it was, good. It was really good. I was actually going to talk about the wash your neck. Washing your neck. Yeah, like, nice. not that it was my point. I get, it can be. But, like, I was thinking about how, you know, when Pastor was preaching the text, he was talking about how initially, you know, Peter, he cast the net and he got up nothing. And I was thinking about, you know, fishing, especially fishing in, like, in the sea like that. And to say that I got nothing is not that he pulled up an empty net, but he pulled up things that were not fish. Like, in the sea, like, I don't know if y'all ever get in the water, like, the sea, the ocean. Yeah, love it. It's, it's algae down there. It's all kinds of, like, rocks. It's rocks and plants. Like, I mean, it'd be all over the place. And so I was thinking about, and how easy it, um, it sort of moves around in the middle of the water and i was thinking about you know like the need to clean the net is not because the net came up empty it's because they were pulling up stuff that wasn't fish because i was also thinking how did they get tired if they was pulling up you know nothing but when you're fishing and you're pulling up rocks and you're pulling up seaweed and plants and like things that are not fish things that you don't need but also things that are heavy like what that what that means and so you know i was just thinking about within the context of when you, you like when you are using your gift when you are doing what you what God said and then it makes you say I, I think God said it um, because you're using your gift and the fruit isn't it's not matching yeah but in using your gift it is still exhausting you because even the stuff you're not supposed to get comes with weight yeah mm -hmm. Um, and so the, you know, pastor talking about the need to clean yeah. your net was so profound to me because it was stuff that you got using your gift that you do not need. And it's like, you got to get, you got to get rid of that. Cause you will keep carrying it. You will it keep, yeah. cause, because that way will interfere with your ability to get the fish that you need. Like, and I was just like, God, that is so good. And it, it was a point where I was like, oh, sir, you really in my business because how many times, God, have I thrown my gift at something or um, thrown my gift at a situation? And it's like, I didn't pick up what I was fishing for. Yeah. Um, but then to have the humility to get back to the shore and say, but I'm going to clean all this up. Because in cleaning it, it's a posture that I, I got to go again. Mm -hmm. um, and so I just was really like, I was really convicted um, by that. You know, there was a part of me that was like, Deja, girl, you got to clean that net. Because uh, you threw your gift at some stuff and got some dirt. <laughs> um, you got some stuff you didn't want. Mm -hmm. But 
you can't keep it in the net. Um, and so I just thought that that was like really, really good. The, the, this conversation about washing, washing your net. Um, cause I think it speaks a lot just to posture in so many different ways. Um, mm -hmm. yeah. so that was good to me. Yeah. yeah. One part about that. No. Okay. okay. One part about that was when you wash, you're making room for more. Mm -hmm. So whatever the more is, whatever the expected in that you believe you're going to have, mm -hmm. that's the more that you are to receive. Yeah. So you have to cleanse, yeah. have an empty space yeah. for the more can get in the yeah. net. Let go. Yeah. Let go. Um, and to Deja's point about the net, if you've ever been fishing and you cast your line out, the current will make you feel like you have a fish yes, on your line. Yes. But by the time you wheel it in, you're like, oh my God, I think there's a fish yes, in it. You yeah, reel right. it in and there's nothing on your line, not even the plants from the ground. Right. Yeah. So you can get tired from the current. Like you just throwing your gifting out, okay, and the current brushing up and you think, oh, okay, I'm using it in the right way, I'm using it in the right way, but I don't have any kind of return. Like there's yeah. nothing showing me that I've actually done it. So. Let me wash off that disappointment yeah. from me not bringing, yielding anything back from throwing my gift off. And then let me cast it again. But this time, Lord, I need to cast it with you. I need you right. to right. get out yes. in the boat and cast right. it with me. But my point, <clears throat> and I wrote down quite a few. Yeah. <laughs> Which one do I? Oh, yeah, we did touch on that. Mm -hmm. When God bless, he will make you rethink your boat size. Yeah. 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 Okay. So... We all know how big God is, mm -hmm. and his thoughts are always so much bigger. So his blessings are going to be so much bigger. So it's like, dang, God, like, how much do you really want to give me to the point that I have to rethink my boat size? And what's going to happen in a moment? Like, when they were catching the fish, and the fish were starting to sink the boat because it was so many, like, mm -hmm. oh, my God. Mm -hmm. You know what, Lord? As I catch the fish and the boat start to sink, whoever is my saucer, I pray that theirs overflows as well. Like I want that, I want that too. I want that for my circle, like whoever I'm connected to. Like I want you to receive those same blessings mm -hmm. unexpectedly. Cause you know, it's not everybody thinks on that same, like, okay, God is gonna do, and you know, it may take you watching to see what the exercising of faith looks like and trying and trying and trying again and again and again and not getting anything. You might just need to be a watcher of that right. so that your faith can be quickened and then you can begin to have faith to receive. So yeah. I just pray that my saucers receive overflow as well mm -hmm. and yeah. their saucers yeah. receive overflow and their saucers. So That's Pastor, good. you... Yeah. <laughs> no, that's really good. Uh, the point about capacity um, is important because when you think about, I, I immediately associated uh, when Jesus told Peter to go to the deep, I started thinking about like, not every boat can do that. Yeah. yeah. Um, and that's like a whole different thing of preparing yourself for, for, what, for where Jesus is going to send you, for, yeah. for where the overflow is going to come from. Yeah. Um, and then your circle also being prepared as well. Yeah. Because Peter could have said, talk to the wrong boat, and they would have, they might not have made it. Mm -hmm. um, but but it's important because I we talk about all the time, like, I don't want to just be blessed. Like, I, I, my circle has to be blessed. My okay. family has to be blessed. Which means that there is, a, there is something that is incumbent upon me to make sure that mm -hmm. your boat can go to the deep. Mm -hmm. yeah. um, because if your boat is only meant for shallow waters, when I'm in the deep and I'm pulling up fish, and I need you to come get the rest of the fish that I'm pulling up, you're not going to be able to do it. Um, and so then that also speaks to, to me doing my job and making sure that, that you are ready. Um, because we, we talk about, we talk a lot about, okay, there's a blessing that's coming. There's a blessing that's coming. Get ready for the blessing. But we also, we learned on Sunday, like there are other people who are going to benefit from that. Yes. Um, so I can't just, yeah. and the, the cup analogy, I, I love that. Oh, I love um, because yes. You, you have to expect that there's going to be overflow. And that's, mm -hmm. that's the difference between something just happening. Because Pastor talked about, you can just get a blessing. Like, you can bless yourself. Mm -hmm. um, but when God blesses, you know that there's going to be overflow. Yes. And so if I know for a fact that I'm going to get overflow because, God, you said that you're going to bless me more than I can receive, I need to be preparing for that. I need to have a, people around me who can get the fish. I can't get all the fish by myself. Mm -hmm. um, so the capacity thing is really important. Uh, because it it aligns, 
it realigns how you think about your circle, how you think about what you're preparing yourself for, what you need to prepare them for as well. Yeah. yeah. Um, That's a good point. I love that. With that, that means your yes is not just for you. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Yeah. It's for someone else. Right. So your obedience to hearing God and going out to the deep is something that others will receive from. So yeah. you have to be willing to say yes when he speaks to you so that it's not just you that receives, it's others that are connected to you. So I love that point too, yeah, right. where your yes is just not for you. Mm -hmm. yeah. mm -hmm. um, and then my point. <clears throat> Pastor at one point started <laughs> started talking about, uh, I want to say that he was he was going down the line of talking about how Peter was, this is, this is Peter's gift, um, and not being upset when you're and not feeling like just because your gift did not bear the fruit right then and there that you were not gifted in that area yeah. um and that's sir because i know you're watching that's when you got in my business uh and i didn't i really didn't appreciate it because i think that that's that's me <laughs> like that that's literally yeah. me um there there is a lot that i feel like i have given my my gifting to there's a lot that i feel like i've given myself to my time my resources um and i know very well what it looks like for me to pull up um nothing yeah. and not just pull up nothing but me pull up pulling up nothing and saying okay i don't want to give that gift anymore yeah. um and that's very dangerous because another thing about washing your nets is like fishermen do that at the end yeah. like at, when i when i'm not going back into the sea anymore it doesn't make sense for me to wash every time I, I'm going to keep going and pulling up. No, at the end, that's when you wash your nets. Mm -hmm. um, and so it was profound for him to to have the mindset, I'm done. I'm not going to do this anymore. And then to have the obedience to say, I'm going to do this because you told me yeah. to do this. Um, and it was a self-check for me because I know that there have been times where God has been like, I need you to continue to use your gift. Yeah. Um, I need you to continue to move in this way, to lead in this way. And because of the hurt that I felt or because I have pulled up nothing so many times, I've been like, God, I love you, but I, I can't do that right now. Yeah. Um, and I know for a fact that it interferes with the people who are meant to get the overflow, mm -hmm. the people who are meant to benefit from the gifting that I have. Um, so it, it, takes some, it, it takes humility, really, um, for you to get over yourself, to get over your hurt. Um, and to, to trust God enough to say, I know that you are God enough to not lead me anywhere that I can't survive. Yeah. Right. yeah. Um, so yeah. who that, that part, pastor, I just, I didn't, I mean, I appreciated it kind of, uh, I'm going to be transparent <laughs> with you, but I, <laughs> I, I kind of, yeah, I, I, it's, it was a part of it. Oh, I, did not know. Know. I, I didn't, I mean, like you, we could have said it on the side. We didn't have to say it in the middle of the service to everybody. That's um, but I felt like that the entire message, so yeah. I, yeah. it's okay. Um, but I think that this message really, Sunday really reminded us that, one, there's a lot of uh, posture work that we have to do. Um, yeah. But also that there is, there's just so much more. There's, Pastor started out talking about extra. There's a lot of No, extra. but that part was like, basically what he was saying was the like the fruit of extra is extra. Like yeah. when when yeah. all you have to give yes. is residual, the fruit of that is residual. Yes. And that was so good to me, Pastor. <laughs> it was good to me. Like because when you're giving off of what you don't got, you get what you don't got. Like yes. that's oh my God. Like when, yes. when you really get that deep down in your spirit, like yes. the fruit of extra is extra. Um that it makes you want to try yes, again yeah. like it, yes. it just makes you want to try again this is not no point but i was thinking about um the story so the when they got done fishing the boats were on the shore they brought the boats back to the shore they were washing the nets and then jesus got in the boat and jesus said push me out in the water a little like that was the first time he said push me out in the water a little and then that's when you know pastor said he turned the boat into a pool pit yeah. um and so i was thinking about the courage that it takes first of all jesus sometimes you be tricking us you be tricking us a little bit <laughs> because i'm resting I, i'm tired i didn't i didn't cast it out these nets and i didn't get any fish and so for jesus to say get in the boat like to get in the thing that you just got out the water with and say push me in there a little bit like just 
just take me out to the water a little bit. So Jesus get on there and do his thing and turn into a pulpit and speak the word. Like that part is so profound. After Jesus speaks the word, he says, now let's go into the deep. It's like, first of all, you tricked me. You tricked me. But the boldness to be obedient and say, God, I just got like that same water that I just got out of and I had no fruit in there. God, I appreciate the grace of God and the patient. Like God is patient. I appreciate the patience of God to say, Go back in the water just a little bit, just a little bit. And then God speaks and God, God gives the word. And then God says, all right, now let's go out and launch into the deep. Yeah. Um, where you can't see, like once you get to the middle of the water, you can't, you can't see that well. Once you get to that dark blue, you cannot see. It looks like an abyss. <laughs> and so for you to have, it was important. Like that's so profound to me because you have to take what God gave in the shallow water to survive like it brings that survival concept back to make it in the deep and so his obedience in the shallow to be to uh sort of yield his obedience in the deep is so significant to me but I was just also thinking about how if I was Peter I would be like Lord I put the boat is on the land like I don't want to go out, I don't wanna yeah, go out no yeah, more yeah. like don't tell me to push you a little bit into the water and so you know that was just really good how just God is just patient and the importance of God when God speaks and then when he moves and he tells you to do, yeah. um, you know, like that is just so, 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 so important. Um, even when you're tired to just, yes, just, do, it, let's go. just do it. And yes. it sounds easy. I'm, I won't, I will not say that that's, that's an easy thing. Mm -hmm. Uh, because there are times where I know God is like, Jane, keep going. <laughs> yeah. And I've been like, Hey, but God, I'm going to take, I'm going to take a nap right now. Um, but we, we learned on Sunday that, in your obedience and moving, even when you are tired, even when you don't, when you feel like you do not have any more to give, there is so much that comes from that. Yeah. Um, and I'm, I checked myself to say, you know what? I'm going to start one, just listening to you, God. Um, <laughs> that's important. Be obedient. Yeah. Um, but also being obedient and, and not leaving anything else. Yeah. Um, I feel like there's a lot of times where we, we, we know that we can give more um, or we feel tired, but God calls us to continue to move. Um, and we know that God would not call us to continue to move if we could not do it. Yeah. Um, but in, in that moment where I can't do it, I can't do it, I can't do it, just be obedient. Um, it's, it's really that simple, just to be obedient. Be mm -hmm. obedient and trust his timing. Yeah. That was the aspect that, that I jotted. It was... The timing of God. How many times do you believe that when you do something, you're supposed to receive a return? Yeah. But it's not always in your time. It's on his time. And Pastor reminded us on Sunday to change our watch. Oh, yeah. mm -hmm. Change our watch. Put on the same watch that God uses so we are not hurt. We're not devastated. Yeah. We're not you know, inflicted by the weight. Mm -hmm. Or we're not inflicted by the non-return. Mm -hmm. We will get it in his time. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. I feel like that's the downfall of so many people sticking to their own timeline or their friend timeline or mm -hmm. anybody else's timeline mm -hmm. other than God's. It leads to nothing but disappointment. That's it. Indeed. We trust you, God. Whew. And your timeline. As y'all can see, we can talk about this forever. Um, because Pastor really broke a lot down on Sunday. Um, to the point where I, I'm going to continue to watch this sermon because yeah, this there's, there's a lot that... Mm -hmm. I need it from this um, and yeah it's a lot that I need it um, and I'm excited to to do the work to, to get the overflow because yes. um, I, I got people to to give to yes, um, and I also want a lot too so <laughs> uh, yes, <laughs> but yeah just, just yes, also me um, so family that's that's we've recapped we did. Um, but we're excited to see what pastor has to say next Sunday, um, because he said that he had a few things that he wanted to pick back up. Y'all remember that? Oh, yes. So, Pastor, we're going to hold you accountable for that, because I'm ready for the next. Um, yeah. More violence. Yeah. <laughs> well, <laughs> um, so yes, family, uh, we hope you enjoyed this recap. Um, we had a lot to say, but the word was very, very, very heavy and very weighty. Um, challenge. Yeah, challenge. What do you need to rinse off? Yeah, I was going to say, wash your nets. nets. Wash your nets. Mm -hmm. Please wash your nets. Yeah. Please wash your nets. Like, for real, if you haven't washed your nets, 
it's they're probably dirty. And yeah. Yeah. Most of us have more than one net, so don't just wash one net and leave yeah. the other ones dirty. Now go on and wash all wash the nets. Mm-hmm. This wash day. Wash this okay. Wash and go. Yeah. <laughs> oh, I'm sorry. I'm sorry. It's, I had to. Ah, just a little humor. Uh, Shayla, do you mind praying us out, please? Let's do it. Father, in the name of Jesus, God, we come before you giving you honor, glory, and praise. We thank you for being God and God all by yourself. Lord, we thank you for the word that we received on Sunday. Lord, we just thank you that we know that in the end, if we're obedient to you, Lord God, that we will receive overflow and our gifts will make room for us. We thank you, Lord God, that as we ponder and wash our nets, Lord God, we'll cast those things back to you so that we get a return, the one that you see fit for us. We thank you for it now. In Jesus' name, amen. Amen. Family, we love you, we love you, we love you. Stay safe, wear your masks, um, and we'll see you on Sunday. Have a good week, y'all. Take care.